Hey everybody, welcome back um, to Paper Mario for the Nintendo 64. Last time we pretty much climbed all of Mount Rugged, and today we're starting Dry Dry Desert. But first, um, you know what, let's actually, let's get out Cooper to talk to this guy. He's actually going to be one of the, like, side characters that you're going to be seeing throughout our adventure. Well, hello there, old boy. How goes the travels, eh? I'm known as Colorado. I'm an archaeologist, you know. I travel the world. At the moment, I'm turning Dry Dry Desert upside down to find the Dry Dry Ruins. My assistants have attempted to gather information in Dry Dry Outpost, which is near here. Sadly, as of yet, we're having little success. All I need is a clue and we'll be golden. What? Whoa, you're Professor Colorado! It's Cooper, I live next to you. It's so great to see you. I never would have expected to meet you. Meet up with you he out here. I'm right in the middle of an expedition with Mario. I want to be an archaeologist like you. Hello there, Cooper. It's been ages. So, if you're serious about taking up our archaeology, you and I should go exploring someday. Anytime, really. For now, you concentrate on your adventure with Mario. You'll never attain such fame in archaeology as I have if you don't finish one task before starting the next. Well, okay. As soon as we're done saving the Princess of the Mushroom Kingdom and everything, you and I'll go exploring. So yeah, I think that's really, like, cool how that whole thing works. And... Yes, we do have a letter to Colorado, which I thought we did. So, we're gonna get up Paracary and give him the letter. You're Colorado, correct? The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter, duly delivered. A postma postman's job is never done. Oh, good show. It's a letter from my wife. Thank you ever so, old chap. This is just what I needed to give me strength to go on. I know. I'll pass this along as a spot of thanks. I came across it while I was immersed in the dig around here. So yeah, he'll just give you a star piece. And, yeah, like he said, it is a letter from his wife, which is pretty nice. Um, I think we actually want to get out Bombette. I think that's the best person to bring out for this place. So, this is kind of like a maze. Well, not really kind of like a maze. It really is like a maze. So... You're gonna have to be careful while going through it. Okie dokie. I think these guys have 4 HP, probably. I hope. And they will steal your coins. Unless I can actually get... I can't, apparently. I cannot. So, they're gonna run away, which isn't the best thing in the world. But that will knock the coins off and then give them back to us, so now they won't run away. And I was wrong, you actually do want Cooper for this place. It looks like... We're gonna have to go back in here right away. Oh my god, we're doing really bad. And there we go. So we could have killed them in uh, one... Oh, they're not dead yet. Oh, they. I think they actually have 5 HP probably then. 5 or 6. Okay, we have to go back and heal. So yeah, we're going to want to bring Cooper out for this place, it looks like. It's okay. At least we're close to the healing place, right? But that enemy will probably respawn, so... Actually, I want to see something quick. Nope. Thought we might be able to do that. Oh well. So... 
Let's continue on. Um, just a warning right away. I'm probably, by, by probably I mean most definitely, not going to be fighting all the enemies here. However, I do want to fight a good amount of them. Because why the heck not? So these Pokies, that's their name, have 4 HP it looks like. Let's fight this one too. Oh hey. What's that? We're just gonna keep on using this combo. I'm not worried about losing uh FP because we should be good. And if I am worried, we could always just fight them the normal way. So. Plus, we get some FP from doing that. You don't want to get in those twisters, because they will just blow you to a random part of the map. It's not a good idea, trust me. Okay, we're actually near the end now. So talking to this guy, Hello fellow travelers, I'm in the middle of a journey, just as you appear to be. Other travelers I meet are like brothers and sisters to me. If the town is what you seek, follow this path to the east. A desert town called Dry Dry Outpost waits at path's end. So I believe if we go down from here... And then go... Yeah, here's one of the items that I wanted. And this is a retry uh, stopwatch, which makes it so enemies can't move. So it's pretty helpful. Come on. Okay. Hmm. I have no idea how you get over there. Can we have Paracarry carry us over? No, he only goes in a straight line. That's what I thought. Okay. Whatever. But if you go towards this way... You'll find the oasis. And here... By the way, you probably do want to go here. And you also get a lemon. Which is one of the cooking items. I think. Wait, is cooking even in this game? I don't know. Anyway, we can power up one of our partners. And I think the best one to power up right now is probably... Bomet. Uh, yeah, sure, so we're going to power up on it. This is a super block, and it upgrades your party members, so that's awesome. So I, actually, it doesn't matter. Power bomb, airlift, dizzy shell, Charge. Okay, I don't want to do that then. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do bomb it then. Yes. Bomb it is upgraded to super rank. And there's also a healing place here. See, that's why I wasn't worried, because I knew this was here. Um... You can also get a lime here, it looks. A lime. Oh, you can shake these trees. Oh, that's cool. I did not know that. Okay. So we got a lemon and a lime. I 
think if we go up here, then we'll be on the right path. Yep, here it is. This is Dry Dry Outpost. This is where I was heading. So this is a little town. Pretty cute. Oh, <gasps> who are you? What is that mouse doing? Oh, see ya. Temporarily closed. Interesting. I don't think this guy gives you anything. Oh yeah, if you move three south and two west, you'll find something special hidden. I believe that's actually the oasis. But it'll help you with other stuff. Hey, did you know the desert is dangerous? So yeah, he gives you a bunch of hints so that really it helps. Um, yeah, I do want to hear more. Hey, guess what? There's something not a lot of... <laughs> Here's something not a whole lot of people know. If you go south just after you leave town, you'll find an oasis. What? Oh my gosh. So the three south, two west wasn't the oasis? Okay, so you want to remember those two things. So you want to remember the, the trees thing. And... Yeah, that's pretty much all you really need to know, I think. I'm gonna look at my letters, actually. Second. Come on. Merlin... Oh, Goom Goompapa. Okay. Well. Alrighty then. Yep. That is correct. As you see, this is one of Car Colorado's explorers, but he actually found this place. So that's pretty cool. You can heal here. I don't think we need to heal, though. Also, if you go behind here, you'll find um, a place. Um, so she can cast a spell on you, but it can be bad. So... So yeah, I, for one, don't really use that, but that's something you can use to help you. Give something. So we're gonna give him... A lemon. There you go, buddy. So, we want to know how to see Mustafa. First, buy a dried shroom, then buy a dusty hammer. Dried shroom, dusty hammer. So, huh. um, we have to buy a dried shroom and then a rusty hammer. And now we can go in the shop. So, we'll buy a dried shroom. And then we'll buy a dusty hammer. What, ho? Buying a dusty hammer after a sh dried shroom is a secret sign that only friends of Mr. Mufa Mast Mustafa know. That means you're in with Mustafa. Hey, brother, 
Good to meet you. Have any questions you need answered? You want to see Mr. Mustafa? He's usually up on the highest part of Dry Dry Outpost. Just keep going up, man, my man. So he's not the biggest help. Oh my god, no. Um, we probably actually want to buy one of these. Wait, wait a second. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll buy one of these. Oh, caring too much. Okay, well that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to check some items in here. First of all, the two items that we don't need. Um. But yeah, we got an extra sleepy sheep. We probably won't need that. Store an egg. And we'll buy this Thunderbolt again. Well, we didn't really buy it again, but try to buy it again. So now we can go see Mr. Mustafa. Mustafa, however you want to say it. We're going to want to go through here. Then up here. Not only will you get a letter... However, you will also find the secret room. Hey, nice guy, we meet again. I'm glad you found me. Oh, <gasps> no way. I'm Mustafa. I'm the one you've been seeking all this time. When I'm out and about in Dread Dry Outpost, I use the name Sheik. That's a reference to Zelda. Yes, it is. Sheik. It is. Believe it or not, it actually, I, I'm pretty sure it's proven. I'm not sure, but to me, I think that's a reference to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It's always good to meet a genuinely nice guy. Genuinely nice guy. Even though it's not spelled the same, but whatever. I meet people all the time, but you are by far the nicest guy I've met so far. Your name is Mario, yes? I heard that you want to go to Dry Dry Rooms. I have a feeling you are on an important journey, so I will tell you a secret. Dry Dry Ruins is a very important place. My ancestors have watched over it for many generations. If I do not keep evil folk out of the ruins, who will? You must promise me that you will tell no one the secret. I'll give you this. Pulse Stone. This Pulse Stone is the key to finding Dry Dry Ruins. Take it to the desert, yes? The Pulse Stone will flash above your head as you get close to the ruins. The closer you get to the ruins, the fa faster the pole stone will flash. Follow where it leads you. Find the place where the pole stone flashes and fastest, and use it to open the way. So yeah, he gave us the pole stone, and you cannot get into the ruins without the pole stone. Whether you like it or not. So, here it is. Pretty cool. We're actually going to switch to Paracarry for a little bit. Um, wait, do we have full health? Yes, we do. Good. Stop. So that's all we really need here. However, we do have a Chuck Quizmo guy here, so we're gonna talk to him. Question. What is the color of the block you can break with the first hammer you got? It is yellow. Correct! Congratulations, here's your star piece. Thanks, dude. Bye, Chucky. Chucky yo. Okay, so thank you all for watching this awesome episode of Paper Mario for the Nintendo 64. I've been Flaming Kong, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.